Hello, my dear friends, it's Yuri Tvetkov, and uh, today I want to make one more video with re resumes of the, um, you know, this, uh, the Sanderson Farms Championships was finished yesterday, and uh, yesterday I have made for, for three, four hours before uh, the starting of the final groups, I have made a video about the uh, predicting of the results of this event and we can see that the Sergio Garcia have win perfectly and the Peter Malnati have made a very huge round yesterday minus nine and uh, GT Poston was the on the short position and only the uh, you know that the serious surprise was that the Cameron Davis have uh, played uh, not so perfectly as he have played in the previous days uh, I mean that his average figures in the previous days was much more better than his uh, game in yesterday. Uh, and uh, okay, later we will analyze it. So um, yesterday I have made a spreadsheet to analyze the and to expect the performance of the uh, those players, which were relative to the performance and the. Uh, of those plays in the first three days. I will state the link for this video in the um, description and this connection. If you are interested, you can um, um, to see it and to understand the methodology of uh, those calculations. Uh, so today I have made the spreadsheet of the expected results and the actual results, the major and mobile major mistakes and we will try to analyze the, what was the reasons for mistakes and uh, what is the subject um, and uh, to improve this methodology. So first of all, what was the difference between expected result and textual result? We can see that expected result for the Cameron Davis was uh, minus 90, 19, but actual result was uh, minus uh, 14. So in this connection, mistake was uh, five points. Um, and uh, expected position he was expected position was the first because uh, you see that uh, such as the Sergio Garcia his expected result was minus 19 in this connection um, it was reasonable to expect that maybe they will play will, will make the playoff or something like that but his actual position was six so for Sergio Garcia Expected result was minus 19, actual result was minus 19, so mistake was zero. And expected position were uh, first and uh, actual position were first. For DG Postum, uh, expected result was minus uh, 18, actual result was minus 16. Uh, mistake was two points and expected position was short and the actual position was short. For Brendan Snedeker, uh, expected result was minus 17, actual result was minus 12, uh, expected position were fourth, and actual positions uh, was uh, 17. So this way we can take analysis for the all positions, for the all uh, uh, certain players uh, who had best results after three days, and we can find that uh, Average mistake. Average mistake, I have called it pressure factor, uh, was 1.8. It is reasonable to um, propose that the pressure factor is describing exactly the pressure that the, the golfers are playing for the big money and they're feeling that they can win such a money and they feeling that they can win the tournaments and they're trying to win the tournaments and they're trying to make his best and in this connection they have a little bit more pressure in the last day than in the first ones and the in first in three first days and it were in my opinion this uh, factor is exactly you know that uh, you know that empirically we can uh, expect that this uh, factor is exactly between one and two strokes and for uh, some of the golfers who have much more stronger pressure than the, the other ones it will be up to three four strokes as we have seen that for some of them for the Cameron Davis and for the Brandon Snedeker uh, it was uh, the five stroke uh, 
the pressure factor, his mis mistakes, and uh, we can see now that, uh, for example, the Cameron Davis, we can find that, that it was exactly the pressure because the pressure is, is the, the shocking is the situation when the golfer is making a mistake from the position which from which he oftenly is not making mistakes and we can find that uh, for example on the first hole uh, Cameron Davis uh, was in a good position after second stroke on the uh, to make a birdie but uh, he couldn't make the three foot and two inches uh, part and the previous days he have easily made such a part and that uh, this day he couldn't do it on the second hole it was maybe not so s the same situation I mean that the, certainly he was on this by the second stroke on the on the, on the green in just uh, five feet and, and nine inches to the hole but uh, from this position uh, where the probability of one part is approximately 75 or maybe 80 percent he couldn't make a part again and the same situation was on the hole number nine where he was on the green uh, in four feet uh, to the hole and it was reasonable to expect that uh, this time it was by the short stroke on the green and we could expect that uh, he he will need one part from such a distance but his mistake was too serious he have put it what it for uh, uh, seven feet and two foot feet and uh, eight inches to the hole it was a distance after the uh, his first part um, in this connection it was uh, something extra extra different from his usual quality not only from his best rounds but from his usual quality of the game and in this connection so this this is the pressure factor the pressure of the last round uh, uh, and we can see that it was exactly the pressure because if we will analyze uh, mistake and expected result according to the worst round we will find that uh, the mistake is lowest it's uh, minus uh, uh, 0 uh, point 0.4 strokes uh, so it's uh, you know that it's not actually a really mistake it's just the you know that it's the uh, reasonable very reasonable mistake because some of the golfers have uh, uh, played better than uh, they have did it in the um, uh, that then we can expect and uh, some of them plays uh, better than uh, than we can expect so I think that this experiment is uh, not so bad in some cases it's um, quite interesting and uh, next time I will try to uh, make the same uh, uh, expectations uh, after three rounds uh, of the next tournament and I will try to calculate the um, that time I will try to calculate it with the uh, you know that uh, um, including this pressure factor I will increase results the expected results for uh, for every person for exactly for this uh, 0 0.8 uh, 0 uh, 0.8 points so thank you very much for your attention I hope that this video will be interesting and useful for you hope to see you on my channel uh, will be thanks a lot for your comments and for your likes uh, just to have more information from you maybe f mostly for your ideas about the um, improvement of this method or maybe I'm doing something what other people have did uh, and in this connection it will be highly interesting to have experience of the other persons who are also interesting in the um, golf statistics uh, have a good game have a good day have a good golf all over the golf. Hope to see you on my channel. Bye.